everyone, let's take a look at our first multiple choice question. So it says a shipping company charges eight fifty to ship packages that weigh up to one pound and seven dollars and twenty five cents for each additional pound. The shipping cost formula would be all right. So what this is saying is here's your eight fifty that you got to pay for your first pound, and then seven twenty five for any pound after one, right? Because you get that first pound for free. So that's why this is saying p minus one. Um, if you have twenty five dollars to spend on shipping, what are the possible weights of packages? you can afford to send. So I need this cost to be less than or equal to 25, so let's figure this out. So I would take my cost function, and all I need is this to be less than or equal to 25 because that's that's my budget, that's what I have. So I'm gonna solve for P, this is a linear inequality, let's subtract 850 from both sides. All right, that's gonna give us $7.25 times P minus one and that should be less than or equal to 16.5. And if some of you are thinking, hey, could I have just distributed this first, the 725 to the P and the minus one? Sure, that's another way to go about it. Um, from here though, I'm personally gonna just divide both sides by $7.25. And since I'm dividing by a positive number, I don't need to change the direction of that inequality. So I get P minus one is gonna be less than or equal to 2.28. And when I add one to both sides, that's gonna leave me with P would be less than or equal to about 3.28. All right, so now if I was gonna think of this on the number line, and let me make a nice little number line, right? We would have 3.28. I would circle that because it's a less than or equal to, and I need to shade everything on down, okay? And if we talk about on down, we would say that's negative infinity. So I could have this interval from negative infinity to about 3.3, but, Keep in mind, there's an implied domain here because we're talking about how much these, these packages weigh. And through, and let me go ahead and change pen colors. And so really, this gets cut off at zero, right? Because packages, they don't have negative weights. So let me write this here. Packages And really, they also don't have weights that are equal to zero. So if we start to think about this, if I'm going to get cut off here, my endpoint won't actually be negative infinity. I'm going to go from zero to 3.3. That's my end game answer. So there we go with option B. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.